Hey everyone, so this is the second part of the best analog connection series. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to be comparing the difference between component, uh, or in other words, uh, YPBPR versus S video. So yeah, if, uh, I know it's been a while, but um, if you saw the other video I did um, over this uh, S video cable, it divides Luma. Um, or the brightness level from chroma or the color information and so yeah as you saw in the other video uh, that does provide a big upgrade over composite where composite just combines everything all together although the the pain on your tv you may or may not see as big of a difference between s video and composite as yeah as i showed before um, but then in this video we're going to be looking specifically at the differences between component uh, well, I guess technically S video is also a form of component since it breaks the since it divides the chroma from the luma. Um, but this kind of component is specifically called YPBPR, and so it still has the luma signal or the brightness that's uh, that's over the screen line. These are the audio signals; those don't aren't part of video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here's the brightness, the luma, and then this blue is the so it's the blue signal minus luma. And then the red is the red signal minus luma. And so, um, and then with all three of these, they're then uh, like devices are able to mathematically figure out what green is. So you still have the red, green, blue, or RGB signal. Um, you just have to use math to reconstruct it. And that's a way to not have to send, you know, the full RGB signal, you know, from like a VGA cable or, or like a RG, RGB, uh, BNC connectors. Um, yeah, this way they can send less information, so lower bandwidth. And then they just use math to encrypt it and then to unencrypt it. So, um, yeah, from what I understand, it's basically um, identical, or at least very close to being identical to like a full RGB signal. Um, yeah, because, yeah, the power of math. <laughs> at least that's my understanding if anyone knows uh otherwise let me know but yeah anyway let's go into the original video so yeah i've already recorded all the stuff that we're going to be testing because uh yeah like i said in the part one i originally made a very long video doing all four parts all together and so yeah i'm breaking it apart now and kind of adding a bit more um like explanations and stuff at the beginning so Anyway, let's go on to the original footage. All right, so actually I decided to hook up two GameCubes instead of the Wii, um, just because then I can just switch inputs on the TV instead of, like, switching cables on the Wii. Because, um, yeah, because that's kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is on this GameCube, I'm going to use this Eon uh, HDMI slash component adapter. And then I have a Wii component cable coming out of it, and it's a monster cable monster Wii component cable so very high quality and uh, this adapter is also like identical if not even some people say even a little better than the official nintendo gamecube component cables which are super expensive and hard to get so i feel pretty confident about this setup and then from this other gamecube i have an official nintendo s video cable coming out of it these are like very heavily shielded, shielded like to resist a nuclear blast, basically. These monster cables, whereas these are just, I mean, the Nintendo cables are still shielded, but they're, they're just not as thick <laughs> as the monster cables. <laughs> and then I have uh, two versions of Ocarina of Time. So I have Master Quest in the S Video GameCube. The Master Quest disc, and then I have the Zelda Collector's Edition disc in the Component Video GameCube. And then I'll just be going into Ocarina of Time on both GameCubes. So yeah, I'm going to get that set up and try to... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do this without doing, trying to do it one hand because otherwise I'm going to break stuff. So hold on. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on the GameCube here. And then I'm actually going to go into this... Uh, screen here because I thought we might as well just compare this text. So this is S video. Wow, looks like just like a black floating box in the middle of the room. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, now 
Let's switch over to component. Ho! Oh. <laughs> I think that this is in 480p, perhaps. All right, so I opened up my uh, little GameCube that the Eon adapter came in, and I found these instructions. Oops. Yeah. And on here it says you can uh, pair the Wii U gamepad to work with the Eon adapter. Wine bubbler, maybe that's what it is. We want this off, perhaps. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Yep, we have in, out, the same resolution, have chroma interpolation turned off. So, this should be a pretty good test now. Okay, so this is component. So now, let's turn on the S-Video GameCube. Okay, so here is S-Video. Alright, so right off the top, right off the bat, I don't really see a difference. But let's go back to component. Okay, yeah, so actually it looks like component is a slightly clearer. I would say, like I'm looking specifically at where it says game, gameplay. Let's go back over to S video. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll give it I'll give it to component. It is slightly clear, yeah, for sure. Yeah. The colors look better too, yeah. Um, but it's not a night and day difference like composite and component was, or a composite and S video. Yeah, not even close. So yeah, so component does look better. Um, at least on this menu, let's go ahead and go into a game. So this is on component again. Yeah, let's just kind of look at this opening. Wow, this, this is a really nice TV. Granted, this is being, this isn't in 240p right now. This is being ups, uh, upscaled to 480i, which is fine need to correct myself there. It's not being upscaled to 480i, it's actually being internally rendered at 480i just because the GameCube is a powerhouse compared to the N64. So yeah, anyway, I was re-watching this footage and uh, yeah, it said upscaled there, but no, it's not being upscaled by the GameCube. <laughs> it is being rawly computed and yeah, GameCube is a powerhouse, like I said. So anyway, back to the video. Nice. Okay, so now let's go and watch that first little part on the S video. All right, that yeah, still looks pretty nice. Yeah. I will say it doesn't quite have that wow factor that component had. I don't know, when I was just watching that component, I wasn't expecting this, but the component just kind of had a wow factor to it. But, I mean, it still looks really nice. Like, you know, really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the menu. Just kind of look at this menu for a second here. Alright, so this is S video, so now let's go to component should be on the menu because I pushed the start button. Yep. Yeah, the component looks better. Not gonna lie. No, oh, yeah, we're on standard on component. Okay, so let's change the input to S video and see if it's the same settings. All right. So, yeah, it's the exact same settings. So yeah, we should be, should be good as far as that goes. Yeah, so yeah, component is just, uh, yeah, the opponent definitely has better colors. Yeah, I must say. It just kind of pops out of the screen more. Yeah, stereo. Oh, put that on hold for sure. Oh, hey, here's something interesting we can look at. Let's look at this uh, check brightness screen. Let's go back to this video. All right, so yeah, the brightness looks good. Yeah, the component just uh, just is uh, yeah just a little bit clearer, I must say. But it's pretty close, 
pretty, pretty close. So here's this video again. Yeah, it's, it's, it just is a little bit brighter on component. Um, colors pop out just a little bit more, but it's not night and day. Yeah, it's a little bit brighter on component. Okay, so if I push A on both of these at the same time, then it'll be like a Zelda verse and they'll start at the same time. So here's component. Oh, this is something I want to look at, these hearts. Yeah, they're just a little bit brighter on component, yeah. Okay, so this is this video, so let's push A on both at the same time. Just like a Zelda verse. Alright, so this is this video. Let's switch to component. Text looks about the same. Here's this video again. Remember, this video is uh, video one. Yeah, and here it looks about the same in the actual game. Yeah, it's a little bit brighter, I guess, in the component. That's video again. Yeah, on here it looks better on Component. You know, as a kid, I always really wanted to play this game in Component. It was my dream to have a CRT with Component inputs. <laughs> it's funny, I finally got one. This is an excellent TV, though. I'm really impressed. Let's kind of look at this. So this is component, I believe. Oh no, that was this video. Here's component. Alright, so here is component. Let's go to this video. Yeah, just a little bit muted on the colors. And again, it could be due to the Eon adapter. I'm not going to rule that out completely, but I mean, component is. I mean, they wouldn't have created component if it wasn't better than S Video, so. I mean, yeah, I think there is merit to the idea that component is better. Um, but again, it's not night and day. Let's go back to S Video on the screen. Oops. Go. Yeah, it's almost the same. This is the part where we push it at the same time. Here's that video. Component. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so if I were playing on this TV, I would definitely choose component over S video. But again, it's not night and day, like I was saying. So, yeah. yeah it's just very bright, very inviting on component. Yeah, the colors just pop out more. So really it's the colors, it's not so much the clarity. Like the, the as far as like the clarity of the text, it looks almost the same. Yeah, it's really just the colors, which makes sense. Um, the, the advantage of YPVPR over S video is that it separates the color information as well. So it's not just the luma and the chroma, but it's also, it separates the chroma signals. So, 
Um, yeah, so it makes sense that the colors look better on component. Oh, I forgot to push down that controller. <laughs> Here, let's uh, go out and look at Sadia. This is S video. playing upside down with one hand. It feels like I'm playing this game for the first time again. Okay, so this is component. Alright, there's Sardia. That looks very nice. Let's go back to this video. Right now here. Yeah, so it definitely doesn't look bad, but, you know, again, it's only a comparison. Yeah. Wow, look at those eyes. Look at those blue eyes. They really, uh, really stand out. Um, but yeah, so here's Component, and then here's S-Video. So yeah, the colors just look better in Component. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, clarity looks about the same, so. Yeah. Let's even do some close-ups while we're, while we're here. With a smiling face. So yeah, so here's component. And then let's switch to this video. Oops. There we go. Yeah. It's really just the color information. That's different. Okay. So anyway, this is component again. So um, I'm still. This is uh, this investigation is taking an interesting turn. So uh, I'm still um, thinking that I would like S video. Still, I'm. I'm still thinking that the biggest change is composite to S video, not so much S video to component. Um, I mean, composite just looked downright like bad, <laughs> you know, especially on the other TVs. On this TV, it actually looks pretty good still, but like on the Sony PVM and the Sony Compute Consumer TV, especially on the PVM, man, composite looked just really bad <laughs> compared to S video so and then RF was about the same as composite uh, so anyway um, yeah let's uh, thinking now let's go on let's go over to the older PVM that I have since we haven't tested that one yet it's a 27 inch but we'll do it on the Super Nintendo and we'll test uh, S video versus RGB Okay, and that's the end of this video with uh, YPBPR versus S-Video. So, yeah, I'll try to get the next one with uh, RGB versus S-Video uh, pretty quick. I'll try not to take too long on that one. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. We'll talk to you later. Bye.